Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're gonna play Trickerion Again. Delgard's Academy. I'm so excited. Yes. Okay, so um, Trickerion, um, with the Delgard's Academy expansion, which mm -hmm. is new, is still a uh, well, actually now a one to four player game. Yes. Um, we're gonna be playing with two, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, designed by Richard Amon, Victor Peter, and uh, David Turchi for Mind Clash Games, and still plays in up to 180 minutes or something, <laughs> or so more. this is going to be a long one. Yep, so join us at the table after the break, and we will show you how it plays. Alright, welcome back. So, Trocarion, if you recall our last video, uh, Trickerion in all of its expansions at the time. Yeah. Uh, I think that video ran about three hours. It seems like exactly three hours. We're going to break that record today. We're going to do about a six hour. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this one should <laughs> be a lot much more. Shorter, much shorter. We're not going to explain anything regarding the rules and how to play this game unless a little bit uh, come up here and there. Right. Or if they pertain to the expansion. Right. Um, if you do not know how to play Trickerion, we highly recommend you go watch the other video first. If you From get, like... Two years ago. <laughs> Many years ago, if you've got about three hours to spare, right. um, or at least watch a little bit just so you kind of get a feel for the game, uh, then come back here in order to appreciate what the expansion is bringing to this right. game, right? Yeah. So it's changing things. With bit. that said, like I said, we're not going to really go through too much. Um, you know, this game takes up took up a lot of real estate before. It takes yeah, up even, even more. more now, if you can believe that. So uh, take a look at the table, and we'll go over some of the new stuff. Right. Right off the bat, you'll notice we have. This dashing fellow in the turquoise vest. <laughs> it's like a with tails. Kind of a, yeah, a tailed vest. <laughs> so <laughs> he's very dapper. He is our protege, and every player starts with a protege. And he, at the beginning, is very weak. And you're going to be able to sort of level him up and skill him up mm -hmm. throughout the game, so that he becomes a more powerful magician in his own right. He'll but be he's learning gonna, secrets. Yes, he will, and he's going to start costing you a lot more money. But well, he can do a lot more for you, so right. you got to keep that balance in mind, right? Uh, we, we start with our standard player board and our one selected um, assistant of our choice. Right. Right? Uh, I went with the manager who comes with some um, two, two, two value mm -hmm. worth of materials. And we'll, again, we're not going to explain what they do, but you just know I took two cloth. Right. right? You'll, you'll figure it out. Yeah, I started with a spell. It has to be a spell in my line. But one thing to note is we have new magicians. Mm -hmm. So I've started, and we chose two new ones, obviously, awesome. because it wouldn't make much sense if we didn't. But I chose Professor Bernard, oh. and he is uh, an escapist. Really nice. Okay. So his ability uh, really pertains to the academy. So in the academy, this will make more sense later. Uh, in the classroom, when he um, is teaching one of his spells, um, you could either take the payout from the classroom, or he could take the payout from the spell card. That's his ability. Right. And I chose Lumenia the Radiant. So she's like a butterfly whisperer or something. She really is. So, um, but she's, she's an optical, optical illusionist, I yep. guess. So. Um, her payout is that when she makes links, when she does performances, she actually gets an upgraded uh, payout on the fame or the money. So instead of getting one, she gets two. She gets like a little right. bit extra. So she gets plus one yeah. to her payout on links. Yep. So <clears throat> pretty powerful. Good. So what did you take as an assistant? And I took the engineer as an assistant. Mm -hmm. So the engineer allows you to hold an additional trick. And at the start of the game, she comes with an extra trick. So I have my trick that I started with, which is an optical trick. It's called Enchanted Butterflies. I thought right. that was appropriate. And I took the breath of life. The breath of the fresh of breath. The fresh life. of breath life. <laughs> and she comes with a trick marker on that trick, obviously. That's a spiritualist. Yeah, it's like a spiritualist trick. Yes. So I chose two different ones so that okay. I can maybe create some links. So, and uh, did you go over your materials that you started uh, with? I did so really briefly, okay. but um, right. But as you can see, look, yeah. you know the game. If right. you have enough materials to build your first spell, you automatically get to start with the, that many charges, yes. however many charges your spell starts, right? So I chose the Burning Mummy, which takes one oil and three cloth. That's appropriate. Yes, right? <laughs> yeah. So I have the oil, which you could, you're allowed to take up to two value of goods, right? Yep. So I started with the two value oil, right? My manager also is allowed to start with two value of goods, but whatever she holds 
gets plus one because she kind of stretches that material. So she has two cloth, but it counts as three because it's in her inventory. If I ever right. move it out of her inventory, it'll only go back to two. Right. So three cloth, one oil equals burning mummy. Nice. And I started with two cloth which equals enchanted butterfly trick. So yep. I also started, uh, the difference is that my trick starts with a charge, like two charges, so right. I actually get two tricks for my Right, ball. if you know the rules, you'll so, know that yeah. whenever you charge a trick, you get the full charges. Exactly. One, two, or I don't know, I think maybe some hold three. Uh, some of them might yeah, I think be actually, I think there is. Yeah. Uh, there are some of the level 36 ones. Yep. So we all start with level ones, right? So right. let's go to the board. Okay. Board is the <laughs> same, nothing different here, nothing to see here, move along. We are on the dark alley side. Of course, like that. yeah. We yeah. highly recommend that. We are not playing with the um, with the one expansion. Uh, Dogard's gifts. Dogard's gifts because it says don't do that for your first two plays of this because It'll it's just it's it way too much going more on. More confusing for you guys. But we are playing with the dueling magicians, which comes with these you know upgraded uh, placement cards. Mm -hmm. So they are going to be at the top of the board. You're not going to be able to see them because there's just not enough room on the table. And also the AI deck. And the AI deck, which clogs up the board. Right. Which I say, if you're playing two players. An absolute must. Right. On the left, this is where all the magic is. Let's see what they did. <laughs> so this is the uh, academy, right? On the left, you've got classrooms. On the right, you've got practice rooms. In the classrooms, you can put one of your spells in there, and you're going to earn points every round for teaching that spell. But you're not going to be able to perform it. Because everybody knows the trick. So everybody knows the trick. Yeah. It's like giving away all your secrets. Uh, on the right, you've got practice rooms where you can boost up the uh, effectiveness of your spell or make it cheaper to produce your spells and all right. that stuff. It kind of helps that out, right? So you've got two options in the, in the, in the academy. Um, and then up top, we have the, the secrets. secrets. Yeah, so these are kind of, they come in little envelopes, right? Yes. So these are the secrets that, I guess, Dalgard is passing along to his protege. So mm -hmm. as an, uh, an alternative action or additional action in the academy, you can choose to equip your protege with one of these secrets. So we have two will come out every round. Mm -hmm. That's our opportunity to claim them. Uh, and then two new ones will come out uh, next time. Right, and every action in the academy costs two action points. Mm -hmm. So um, just like any other action out right. here. Um, and we'll explain how to build these rooms as we go along because we, we're probably gonna yeah, do that right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, we've done everything else regarding setup. We've got the starting materials. We've got the dice rolled for all the downtown markets. Uh, I do have an extra Curia marker in the fifth space because in a two player game, at the end of round four, mm -hmm. we're going to remove these two classroom tiles and they will be available for renovation. Because what we're doing is we're renovating the academy. These are the only four available spaces right now to build classrooms or right. practice rooms for us. Right? Yeah. And then as you build those, you're going to earn and be able to place out influence tokens on the academy. Like our banners. It's your banners. Yeah. yeah, these are called banners. So the player with the most banners on the board entirely is going to earn eight points. This mm -hmm. is, again, strictly with two players. Right. The final thing is we're going to have our, um, our theaters are going to come out, obviously, like usual. We have two of each, starting with the Riverside Theater. Uh, I'm going to slide them down. Normally, they go along the top of the board if you know how to play the game. Right. There not is not enough room to do that, so I'm just going to slide them down as I go along. When the third one gets down here, it's going to fall off the table, right? At that, we've got our um, prophecies. prophecies out. The next prophecy that is in play, uh, you probably can't see it, but when that comes out, um, what that does is it's going to force us to keep our actions hidden until we take them. That's what that prophecy is. Oh, means. is that the next one that's Yes. Out? Okay. And then cool. after that, two bonus fame for optical tricks whenever you uh, place a trick, uh, I guess out here. Right. And then um, whenever you gain a stone, you gain an extra stone. Those are the three okay. prophecies in the ball right now that are coming out. Right. The last thing for setup, and then we're going to jump right into this playthrough, mm -hmm. is the uh, action cards, right? So for this game, you're going to get two theater and then one of everything else. One market row, one workshop, one dark alley, one downtown, and one academy. Yeah. New card, right? So I think that's it. Right off the bat, you're going to know we're going to be doing a lot more things because we have an extra worker to start Yes. with this protege. And he's only got one energy. Yeah. So he's like an assistant. Um, for now. For now, but he's gonna boost. He's gonna boost up Hopefully as we go. Hopefully, he keeps us from having to hire additional workers because we have no space for them. We have no <laughs> space. Uh, yeah. Just have to locate where I did with my money. I don't know. I guess it's I, sitting right there. Oh, I put it right here in front of me. Okay. Uh, player two starts with fourteen dollars. Mm -hmm. What do you player start? Player one with? starts with twelve. Twelve, and we each get one Trickerian stone to start. Yep. Again, we're not playing with the uh, Dalgard's Gifts, where we would actually start with three Trickerian stands because right. you had that whole sideboard yes, going on, right? So that's it. 
I think we're ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's start. Uh, you're player one, so we're going to kick this right off. Okay. Okay. So we have this handy dandy reference card. Uh, as you recall, we also had this giant magician magician's workbook. workbook, which gives you pretty much everything you need to know about this game. Uh, what's important though is on the back, the new turn order, it's mainly the same, mm -hmm. uh, mostly the same as it was, but it does have the Dalgard's Academy expansion. So it kind of walks you through some of that right. stuff, right? And it has the classroom phase, which is actually another phase after the performance phase. So we're going to go through that. All right, so in turn order, we're going to roll the dice, which we've already done for setup. Uh, we're going to set initiative order, which is already done because you're player one. But now you get the chance to advertise. Are you going to advertise? I'm not going to advertise right now. And I am not either. So now we go to the assignment phase. So with the assignment phase, um, for brevity, <laughs> we are going to do this off camera. Yes. Completely. And then you'll see when we reveal the cards what we're actually going to go and do. So right. we will be right back once we have chosen our actions. All right. Let's reveal. Okay. And this is where we're heading. Ooh. Oh, I see. You want something in the dark alley? Okay. Why not? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, well, you're player one. All right. So you get to take your action first. Oh, okay. We're going to almost completely different places. Yeah, I know. That's, That's very good. Kind of, that is good. That's good. That's good. Um, okay. Man, I sent him to the academy, but you can't do anything in the academy for one point unless you pay a shard. No, you can't. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll wait on that. I'll go to my market road first. All right, so I'm taking my... My magician is actually going to the market. He's going to market. So I'm placing him on the plus one, so he's got four action points to spend. Mm -hmm. For my first action, I'm going to buy a piece of that sheet metal. How many pieces would you like? Just one. Okay, so that's your first action. Yep. That's gonna cost you one. All right. <clears throat> and then for my second action, well, for my second and third actions, because it costs two actions, I'm gonna quick order a saw. Mm -hmm. So bring that puppy out. And then for my last action, I'm gonna pay for and buy that saw, but it's gonna cost me one more than yeah. it normally does. So it normally costs two, it'll cost me three dollars. So here's a five. And you want a saw. Yes, thank you. And that's gonna go away at the end of the turn. Yep. So I could actually buy that mm -hmm. if I had chosen to If you were to go going to market. market Row, yeah. But I'm not, actually. I'm okay. not going to Market Row. So I'm going to go to the theater and prep a trick. So I'm going to prep the burning mummy on the Riverside Theater. If you don't know how this works, this is very, very easy. When you place a trick, mm -hmm. you try to make links. <clears throat> the one rule you have to keep in mind is that the type of trick it is, and the burning mummy is an escapist trick, so it's the little chains. Your chain symbol on this trick needs to touch the center of one of the circles. Always. That's the rule. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that and match symbols with any other tricks out on the deck, out on the, in, uh, mm -hmm. at the, in the theater, then you don't create a link. You right. still place the trick, you just don't create the link. So I just so happen to be able to match up this one here. Now remember, this is part of the uh, magician's duel, right? Mm. These cards, because yes, they have... right. They're they, already occupied. They have tricks. occupied tricks, yeah. which again is wonderful for two players. Right. Right, so it kind of simulates somebody else already putting a trick out there. So I'm fortunately able to match this other link, chain link. Mm -hmm. So that creates a link. A link. <laughs> that was confusing. <laughs> yes. So I've got a trick prepped in the, in the Riverside Theater, and by every time you create a link, you gain a victory point or a, or a money or a money. So one or one. So it's right here. You create a link. And you that's get for your level one. Tricks. Level one trick yeah. gets one or one. So I will take the fame. 
Mm. No, I'm gonna take the dollar. Okay. I need the money for now. All right. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. I am gonna go to my workshop. I'm gonna make some tricks. So I'm going to prepare a trick in my workshop. Um, now that I have my saw and my sheet metal and I have two things of cloth right here. Yep. I'm going to prepare the breath of life. Oh, the fresh of breath air. The fresh of breath air. That's a good trick. And the cool thing about this is that uh, my engineer, because she's such a good engineer, she when she prepares this trick that's on her board here, it actually allows you to have one extra trick prepared. So instead of just getting the one that I would normally get for this card, I actually get to prepare two tricks. That's good. Yeah, that is very good. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go to the academy. Okay, where would you like so to go? So I'm gonna go right here on the plus two, mm -hmm. and that's Oops. gonna give me three action points to spend. It'll yep. cost two to do something. Mm -hmm. So with my first two, I'm going to build a classroom. Okay. For six dollars. Would you like to pick a classroom? So now I have to. I can choose to build a level one, a level sixteen, or thirty-six. Is it mm -hmm. or thirty-two? Yep, thirty-six. Okay. Um, and pay more, but I I am not of that fame. You're not. You're level three. You're a three star performer. At this I am. Point. <laughs> so I just paid six bucks. I'm going to get four fame for that. One, two, three, four. And I get to choose any one of these classrooms, and these classrooms give you different bonuses depending on, you know, I guess wherever you try to, uh, wherever you put your spell to teach, it'll pay out that bonus. Like this one here is like minus, yeah, you get one, minus one off of your off of your normal spell. But yield. you get the fame and the money. But That's you get the, the fame and the money. Yeah. A lot so, of times you only get the fame or the money. Yeah, that one gives stones. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll take. I'll take this one for the fame okay. and the money. Right. Uh, so that was the classroom I chose, yep. and I spent two of my three points. Now I only have one point, and that's not going to let me do anything, so I'm going to spend a Trakirian shard okay. to boost one. You can do this once. Yes. I can only spend one, so I spend one. I'm going to get plus one. It gives me two more energy, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go ahead and get one of those secrets. Which one would you like? I don't know what they mean. Oh. All right, get the book. The book. All right, so <laughs> the book tells you everything. And there, again, this is so new that it's it's really... There, here we go. So market row, you gain three coins. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so that what that means is if you send your protege to market row, he gets three coins. Uh, cool. This guy, this is it's another market row. You may buy you may buy any components. If it's not available in the market row, it's plus one coin that's per really piece. That's really good. I want that. Okay. There you go. So you're only allowed to buy one of these. Mm -hmm. per visit. So I couldn't go there and buy both of them right up. So now that's going to go on my protege mm -hmm. and he becomes a uh, plus one dollar. He's taking the salary now. He was free. Yeah. But now, now, he, but now he knows. Now this clown secrets. wants to get paid. I know. <laughs> he knows the market secrets of the market. Market secrets. Market secrets. This trade secrets. All right. So you can. Okay. Move. Hmm. Let's see. All right, well, I guess I will also go to the theater. Theater. And I will go here, because you're already taking up that other spot. Mm hmm And I will prepare, what do I have, two action points up there? One. <gasps> One, because of that thing. Oh, yeah. that stinks. Well, it's good you chose that character to do that. <laughs> Why? Because if you had an assistant go there, it would have been zero. Oh, it would have been zero. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have gone. Yeah. yeah I couldn't have. Um. That's kind of crappy. So do I want to do this now or later? Well, you could put a trick down. Oh, you wanted to double up there, didn't I you? I did, yeah. Here, well, you know what? I'm not going to put him out. I'm just not going to send him. Okay. Um, and you can do that, but that means that I don't have to pay him. True. You know what I mean? So I will go to the academy instead. So right. I will go to the academy with two points to spend. And... Oh, forgot to do, sorry. Oh, you put your banners Yes. Out, yeah. In the first and second round, you put out four banners when you build a classroom, when you renovate. Mm -hmm. um, in the fifth and sixth, uh, second, first and second round, you do four. Third and fourth, you do three. Right. Fifth and sixth, you do two. In the seventh round, you put out one. Right. So it's good to get them out early. Yeah. And I don't know if I want to put... 
see, putting troops in the classroom is good, but it's also not great because yeah, you can't put them in the theater. It's better to wait to do it, you know? Yes. I would have loved to put the birding mummy in the, to teach that trick, but I've got to show it first, and then it'll bring in more students. I, I know, that's what I'm thinking, too. I might put out one of these practice rooms, though. Okay. Let me see what we've got here. Oh, that's a, I like that one. This is a good one. Yeah, I love that one. That one negates the cost. It negates the cost of one of your... Up to three. Yeah, cost that's really good. Uh, material on one of your tricks if you practice it in that room. Yeah. It's hardcore. <sighs> that's good. Yeah, that is really good. You'd swipe that right up. Depends. My bonus is in the classroom. It's not really in the... Yeah. I'm going to put that. So I'm going to... I think I'll do... I think I will do this. Who am I paying this round? One. I'm only paying one buck. All right, cool. So I've got I've got money to spend. So I'm gonna go out to the the practice room. Here. So I'll pay just three dollars and I'll get one fame for that. All right. So we're renovating the school already. Um, just like spells, you can pay the difference in money to go up to the next tier. So right now you were at you were at like three fame, so you could pay thirteen dollars to buy up to a, a, a sixteen fame Here's tier two bucks. classroom or a practice room mm -hmm. rather. All right, so it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to I guess let's go to Dark Alley for now. So I got four points, which allows me to go do a lot of things actually. So I'm gonna get one. Uh, so I'm gonna buy a, a card, right, an action card, and then I could buy a second one for two more. That'll be three of my points, and I could use another point to cycle these. But I, I kind of like that one that hides things. That's cool. Right? Like yeah, that's it'll make neat. it a little mysterious. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna just grab two cards. Um, as you learn this trick, you may choose to return another trick to Dogar Resin if you do so. Please. What? Oh, that's pretty cool. But I don't know if I would do such a thing. Yeah, I don't really like the dark alley cards out right now. Yeah, this, if you do a trick on three. Oh, I like this one. Arranged fiasco. Oh, that's crazy. I really like that. Uh, let me try this one, hidden talent. That's uh. Okay, I'll do that one. So I grabbed two cards. That was my. That was my action. And you're not going to go to the theater this round. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about it. I just... What do we have coming out? Uh, we have, like, the same setup yeah. next time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's kind of crappy. No, I'm gonna... I'm not going to, because I'm gonna have to pay him. I don't okay. Want to. Well, I guess I'll just go downtown with my magician. Okay. So, that's five energy downtown. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty big. Huh? That's good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hire this assistant. So it's going to give me another hand, another gloved hand here. Mm -hmm. So that goes to X. So that was three of my four energy. And you can do nothing downtown with one energy. Mm -hmm. Actually, five energy. If I had a uh, shard, I could have done something yeah. else. Oh, well. I was just making, I didn't know if you were going to go because I would have. Yeah. I had to go with three at least. Right, right. right. Uh, so that's it. That ends the uh, action assignment phase. So right. now we place uh, we place our characters. Now we go to performance. There's no performance this round. Right. No, magicians. no magicians. No magicians in the theater. Uh, now we go to classroom phase. This is where it's new. So we don't have anything in the classroom. No. <laughs> we renovated a little bit, but right. we didn't actually put anything in there. Right. So you have to take the action. Um, so we did the renovate action, mm -hmm. but we didn't do the action where you go and... We're actually placing our trick markers right in there, here. indicating yeah. that we're teaching or practicing that trick, which is what is going to give us the benefits. Well, technically the classrooms only. We're not teaching anything. Right. So now we just renovate it, so nothing's going to actually happen in the yep. classroom phase. Um, but we do end of turn phase, so now we pay. So whoever mm -hmm. is out and used is paid. So I got one, two... He counts as three now. Yep. For five bucks. Wow. And I pay one dollar. That's like I have a cheap shop. Really? Well, I don't have any dollars. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay, so here's your four dollars and change. Thank you. And that was wages. Now we return our characters. So bring everybody home. So I, I need to make this guy earn his money next round. I yeah, think. seriously. That was pretty lame. You're paying him the big bucks. Yeah, that was lame. 
All right, but I've got some more more hands to work with now. Okay, so we've taken our characters back. Um, move uh, orders arrive. So this actually goes away. away we didn't was, order anything. That was so. temporary. Uh, move performance cards. So this is going to slide down, as we said earlier, and yep. we're going to bring out the second Riverside Theater. Mm -hmm. So that's now available. And then we have remove posters. Nobody advertised. Uh, move the turn counter, which is going to go up to level two. Um, then we do the dark alley stuff. So the, the prophecies go into effect. So that's now in effect. These shift. A new prophecy comes out. And then we're going to redo these guys. Yep. So the the um, the scarred special assignment card. So the top card on the special assignments goes to the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. And then we discard any unclaimed secrets in the academy. So since so there is one, one left, that's going to go away, and we are going to bring out two new ones. So that is gone. Bring out two new. Okay. So we have now the new Set arrangement, up. right? So those are going to slide. These yep. stay it's over there. It's just the first two in every. So these go here, and how do we look? Um, they're already there. Right. No, the two in one spot, the first and second, because it goes one, oh, two, three, Oh, the expensive four. spots, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that is always going to match Dark Alley, Dark Alley on yep. these cards. And this is what's coming out right. next. And we're getting ready. So uh, player order now, is we're going to set all that up uh, yep. in the start of the next round, so let's get to it. All right, so start, let's roll the dice. Okay. Yeah, roll Okay, wow, all sorts of goodies out there. So now we do setting initiative order, right? So I'm in the lead, so I stay second place. Yep. Um, you gonna advertise for a dollar? Um, I think I will, actually. Okay. So, so here's a buck. Buck. And I'm putting my, because I'm planning on doing some shows, perhaps, so I put my banner up there. Oh, you get two? Two. One, two, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's aluminia. It's like hanging on a billboard somewhere. I can't afford to advertise, actually. <laughs> got too many mouths to feed, too many hands to feed. <laughs> I guess so. All right, so everybody's got their hand out. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we are right back into the advert, the um, sorry, the assignment phase, right? Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna sign our, our moves off camera. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind, with the prophecy in effect, we are not going to show our cards until we take the action. Right. And remember, we're not revealing until we do it. So, what are you gonna do first? I'm going to the theater. Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> Come on, you didn't see that coming? Oh, I knew you were going to theater. Okay, I'm going to theater on Saturday. Okay. Because I want to prepare two tricks. Okay. So I'm going to prepare one of each: a breath of life. Mm-hmm. And enchanted butterflies. Um, and I'll put this. I'll put them on here. So I have. I have enchanted butterflies is my optical trick. So that'll go here. All right. So that creates a link. Correct. Ah, get it in the square. Okay. Um, now that creates a link. And I get two fame actually. Or two dollars. Or two dollars. What do you want? And I have one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll take the two dollars. Okay. Uh, and my next one is the breath of life, and that is a this like whimsical one or whatever. So that's gonna go down here. Spiritual, you create another link. I create another link. So there's a stone in that one, so, so I get a stone. stone. And Do I'll take the two fame this two time. Two fame. Yeah. Boom. Okay. And I'm thinking if I want to spend my other Chakirian shard and maybe and, perform, and, and uh, prepare put, another trick? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. that. Yeah, so I'm gonna spend, because I had one, so it's not like I got one and spend it again, but. And I'm gonna put another Breath of Life out. Okay. Um, on this other show. I'll so if you can you. make a link for me. I will make a link here. 
Yes. Right? Because it's a spiritual trick. Correct. Boom. Yes. All right. So you want $2 and or $2? And I'll take two fame. Two fame. Okay. Thank you. So, where does that leave me? Interesting. Okay. So that was your move. Yes. Mm hmm Okay. I get it. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, at least. Okay. Where's he going? Oh. Oh, really? Is that what I did? Oh, that was kind of silly. <laughs> that was really silly. Do you need to do a little such a room? No, I mean, that was kind of dumb. You've given them their assignments. Yeah. Now they are deployed. So then I'm just going to go with my big dog downtown. Okay. And he is going to buy a spell or oh, learn a you? spell. Uh, which one? Because you can well, do Well, I can do any, any. spell, yeah. basically, from any school. I, yes. I will choose while you go ahead and do your action. Well, no. You're going to wait for me. Yes, I do. Really? Oh, because you may be going downtown, too? Well, I need to know what you're doing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm probably going to just do card manipulation. Okay, which one is that? That is in the... That one. Optical? Optical yeah. school. So I'm going to go ahead and X this off. There you go. So I'm going to learn card manipulation. Okay. Mark that with the spade. Okay. All right. Um, where was I sending him there? Okay, cool. All right, so I will use him. I'm going to the academy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have two points to spend. And I am going to take this secret. Ooh. <gasps> Boom. That is called, he doesn't have to be paid. <laughs> yes, end turn phase, end turn. he takes no salary. He takes no salary. He's just a diehard protege. Pro prodigy. 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 Um, okay, I'm going to go to the academy with my manager. Mm -hmm. um, she's got two action points, so she's going to do one thing. And I'm going to take my Burning Mummy spell. And we have little markers. Yes, um, Academy markers. Academy markers. So they're just miniature versions of these suits, right? Mm -hmm. So the diamond. And I'm going to place it in this practice room. Okay. So now when I create this spell, uh, I'm going to get one additional charge. The Burning Mummy has only one, so now it's going to have two. I wanted that one. That is huge. I wanted that one. It's huge. You, d you decided to take free guy, no charge. <laughs> so, <laughs> burning mummy gets plus charge. Okay. And I'm okay with that. Womp womp. That sucks. Okay. That's all right. That's okay. I didn't need it anyway. No, you didn't. <laughs> all right. What um, am I going to do? Okay. I went. Oh, I've got terrible things. I took this guy to the. Man, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I know what I need to do. Whew, this is very tough. All right, well, I took this guy to the dark alley. Okay. So, put him down there. And, so I have two. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, that's the thing that sucks, is that you can buy one card, but then you have to pay two to buy a second card. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's going to cost you three actions if you want to buy two cards. So you have enough to buy one card. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. Um, okay, I'm going to take this Magic of Diversity. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, so that's it for yeah, you? Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to send my Prodigy to the Market Row. Okay. So he's going to have two action points there. He's probably not going to need them both, but it'll do. So he is going to start off by, well, actually, he's only going to buy one thing, but he's going to take the dollar discount with his extra action point. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're bringing down the price correct. of your other action. Well, of the total. Yeah. Bringing, I'm getting dollar discount off the total. So he's going to buy two pieces of wood with his one action. Mm -hmm. So it's going to cost me $2 minus one is a dollar. One dollar for two pieces of wood. Nice. I think that's pretty good. That's and a good deal. We're going to set that, I can set that right over here, can I? Mm -hmm. And then make that worth three. three pieces of wood. Nice. Yes! Oh, that's awesome. Good job. All right. Okay. And I'm taking my magician to the theater to perform. 
some tricks. I'm pretty sure I can put them on her, right? I don't have to put them here and then move them, do I? Mm. Mm. No, I think you might have to move them. I think I might have to move them, actually. Yeah, now that I think about it. Yeah, so then what I'll she just do... She comes with the, the stuff prepared, but I think you have to... I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to pay an extra dollar and buy a third piece of wood. Okay. Right? okay. How's that? Is that better? That works. Okay. I think, I think that's how that works. Like, yeah. I can only move stuff in a right, way, and only right. at the beginning of the game do you get it with her. So, okay. all right. So, to we'll be turn. fair. All right, so you want already? Yeah, I put my magician out. Oh, you're getting ready to perform. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go to the workshop with my assistant, and I'm going to build a spell. Nice. Card manipulation. Since you have all this stuff. <laughs> well, I have, I have the stuff for both, I know. technically. Uh, but I think card manipulation is a good start. Even and though your burning mummy gives you an extra charge. He does, but I want those stones that this thing pays. Yeah. So... That's that. All right. Cool. You good? Yeah. Don't you have one more guy? Yeah, but I can't use him, so I'm not going to spend him. Okay. Because he is technically the theater. Oh. He's only a one action point, so he would actually have He'd zero. He'd null unless you wanted... Oh, you don't even have shards to spend, do you? you you're not allowed to spend oh, yeah, shards right. in the theater. Okay. So I will not be putting any more tricks out this round. Okay. But that's I good. don't have to pay him, so... Okay. <sighs> okay, so that's that. Now we go to the performance... performance. So, Yay. you are going to perform, and which theater do you wish to perform? I would like to perform the Riverside Theater. Well, that they're both one. Riverside. The one with okay. So, we're going to move this into the center of the board and see if we can get a nice close up on it so everybody can see how we're scoring this. Okay. So, here it is the Riverside Theater. So, we're really just going to start by um, paying out the tricks. Right. So, everyone who has tricks in the show gets paid out for the tricks that are being performed, regardless of who is performing them. That is correct. So your trick is your diamond trick, so you will get two fame. Two fame two and two dollars. All right, I will pay myself two fame and two dollars. Okay. And there you go, two fame. So let's go ahead and do yours. All right, right so my Enchanted Butterflies gives me two fame. Mm -hmm. So I'll take two fame, please. Okay. And my Breath of Life gives me two fame and three money. Okay. And there you go. Thank you. So now we're also going to pay the performer out on links. Right. And there are one, two, three links in here. So that's three more victory points. Yes. One, two, three. Yep. And then my specialist. So I brought the engineer, which yields me one stone. One stone. So, and then you also get one fame. more fame for the venue. Yeah. So that is it. These all go back to the supply. Yep. And we can pull back out. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we will move this over here and we are ready to go. So that was that. Now we pay wages. Okay. So let's add them all up. So I have one, one two, three, three dollars. Two, three, four dollars. Wow. That was pretty much all I had. I am broke. <laughs> okay. Nothing happening in our classroom for classroom phase? Nope. No so. payoff for classroom phase. So return characters. So everybody comes back home. All right. And my hand. Where's my hand? Um, oh, there, there you go. All right. So they all come home. Orders arrived. There were no orders. Uh, performer car performance cards. So these are actually going to slide down. Now this is it. The bottom Riverside Theater is going to slide off, and we have the first showing of the Grand Marjorian, which is a pretty good payout, actually. Yeah, that's good. Um, and now your poster comes off. Yep. The turn counter goes up to round three. The prophecies. Now this one is gone. Mm -hmm. This is going to slide out. So now. Um, these optical tricks are worth two fame. Nice. And then we discard assignment cards, so we have to refresh the top. Any undiscovered uh, secrets in yep. the in the school are going to go away, and that is going to be that. Then we have to switch our round or our order. I think you're actually clear. Well, that will happen in the beginning of okay. the next round. Right. So we are. Ready to rock and roll, I think, for round Oops. three. Okay. That secret's shot now. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag now. Yep. There we go. All right, let's kick it off. 
Roll the dice. And I'm going to put these out where they belong too. So these are good, these are good. These go here, and these go here. Uh, set there. initiative order. Alright. Uh, so that everything's set, even what? the academy? Like you, you moved yeah, I moved it. Yeah, okay. that's good. Initiative order changes though. So you're actually first. I don't even have a dollar to advertise, so that's cool. <laughs> All right, so uh, we go right into assignments. So okay. here we go. We will be back. All right, reveal. This time we reveal. Yes. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. what? All right, I'm going to double check something real quick the prophecy to make sure we're both fully understanding what this Why means. Why would you use that theater card? Because it gives me a plus one. Oh, action, action modifier because okay. he's only a, a one action guy. Oh. It's the only time you can add an action to the theater. Yeah, that's the only reason I used yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Otherwise, okay. it's Just better. Serious. It's good That's for serious. the payout, but yeah. it, I actually need two theater charges. Right. Um, so you immediately receive two fame when you set up an optical trick. So setting up an optical trick in the theater, right, automatically gets you two fame. Right. So good. I have card manipulation. So good to ya. So good to ya. So good to ya. So good to ya. All right, so I am going to put this guy on Friday. Okay. And I'm going to use this card. Now, although it has some text here for paid audience where mm -hmm. I could actually get the modifier for Saturday if I performed on Thursday. Yes. Um, I'm going to ignore that and just take it for the plus one action. Okay. And this thing is going to get trash after this round because these cards once they're used they're used so he's gonna have two action points i'm gonna charge two i'm gonna set up two spells or two tricks and i'm mm -hmm. gonna put one in each theater so i'm gonna start with now they're both eyeball spells so the eyeball has to hit the center of the circle so i'm gonna put one here mm -hmm. uh this is not a link though i know dang nab it well i'm gonna have to not link it but i get two fame just for putting it there because yeah of the prophecy part, yeah. Boom. All right. So I've got one more eyeball spell, and I'm going to put that right here and create a link. Okay. Boom. I'm going to get two more fame for that, and I'm going to take a dollar because of the link. Nice. Why didn't you put it down at that other chain? What's the matter? Oh, I don't know. I'm just curious. <laughs> just makes it harder for me to put my trick down. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to inconvenience you in any way in the Grand Majorian. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I, I, it doesn't really matter. I could do it. Because the eyeball saying. the eyeball, can go in that circle. Right. I'll do it. Why not? Okay. Just curious. All right. Um, hmm. Who do I want to send out first? I... I guess I'll do this. This. <laughs> this one. Yeah, Try to throw you. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go here and send my assistant out, my helping hand. Helping hand. To the academy. And I'm gonna spend my two action points, my mm -hmm. one plus one, to put two. a trick in the classroom. Okay. So I'm gonna put my, this enchanted butterflies trick has been seen around the world and it's getting a little stale. So we're gonna teach all the young boy and girl magicians all the secrets. All the secrets. All the secrets. So that'll go there. All right, your turn. All right, so any spells she has prepped or any tricks she has prepped of the enchanted butterflies yes. remains out right. until after the classroom phase. Right and they will all be wiped. So if they don't get performed this round, they are forfeit and you right. cannot create any more. Yeah, Once a good way in. to think about it is that like your classes kind of happen after these, after the performance. Right. So it's like, you can perform it and then like they talk about One it. One last something. big yeah. show and then it's like, all right, I'm gonna show you how David yes. Wayne does all these tricks, how he gets frozen and comes back and how he stands on top of a I, I just wanna know how he stands, like he just does this thing. And For like days? Just stands there. And then there. stands. He's gotta have like a... I don't know, but if he were to go into our oh, classroom in the academy, he would teach us all that. But then he couldn't show us in the grand majority. Alright, it's your turn. Okay, I digress. I will go to the academy as well. Okay. So I have two action points, but I'm going to place my card manipulation. 
You gotta find that tiny little token. Here it is. In the classroom as well. Okay. On the top the side. Stop one? It really doesn't matter for me because I can take the cards bonus. Exactly. Yeah. Instead of the classroom bonus. But if you wanted, this one just gives you money. Only if I had a level 16 trick. Yeah, that would be nice. But I don't well, know. Maybe you can switch it up. I yeah. can switch it at some yeah. point. Um, but for now, that's where it is. But my card manipulations, they're going to stay out mm -hmm. and they'll actually go away once I perform them. Right. And then poof, I'm going to start teaching. they're gone. <laughs> I'm going to start teaching everybody. All right. Slight of hand. Cool. Our academy is growing. All right. So I am going to go to my workshop with my protege. Now, I'm using a Dark Alley card, because mm -hmm. this is one of our specials, and it's called Magic of Diversity. So you, you receive the bonus below, which you can't see, based on the symbol of the prepared trick. So I'm going to prepare for one charge the Breath of Life trick. Now, because I'm using my engineer, she gives me two preparations Yes. on that trick. Mm -hmm. um, but I get a bonus of three fame, because it's a heart trick. All right. One, two, three. Very good. Your turn. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? I'm gonna go downtown. Okay. So I'm gonna get three, and I'm just gonna take five dollars. Yes. I need money so bad. Yeah, <laughs> just take the money. Just taking money from the bank. All right, so I'm gonna go prepare on this day, since mm -hmm. you're gonna take me on. And I have, what, a charge of two? Mm -hmm. So I can prepare two things. Two spells, two tricks. Okay, so I'll do one of each. So I'm gonna do my Enchanted Butterflies. Now, my Enchanted Butterflies trick is already out on the schedule for one day, right? In the Riverside Theater. No, it's not. Oh, this it is my Clover. Oh, it's Clover, so it's not anywhere. You can put it anywhere so you I want. So I can put that anywhere I want to, mm -hmm. right? Of course. Oh, I think I'll put it. Do I wanna go Grand Majorian? Um, I mean, I'm assuming probably both of these are going to get played, at least I would hope so. But I guess I'll put them out here, it doesn't really matter. Well, maybe I'll put that on Riverside Theater. Okay. So Creates we a link. create a link. So we each get a stone. Yep. Because we both created the link. And you get two coins or two fame. What would you like? Right, because of my bonus, right? Yep. So I'll take eight coins. Eh, pretty good on money. I'll take two, two fame. fame. All yeah. right. And then for my second trick, I'll bring out the breath of life. And I'm assuming you want that up here. And that is a one of these jobs. Yeah, I'll put that up there if you could create a link for me. Right there. Um, and that's an optical trick that I put out. Did you give me my two fame because it's an optical trick? No, I didn't know it was an optical trick. This one. Was. Okay, I just gave it to you. So right. there's another link. What do you want? Two fam or two money? I'll take the two fam. Two fam. All right. Um, and that's it. Yep. One, two, one, two. Okay. That's pretty, pretty good. Either way. Yeah, I'm just deciding which one I want to perform. <laughs> well, I have the first. I, I get know, first yeah. dibs. Um, all right. So that was it for you. Yep. I guess I'll go to here, and I have two energy, but I will just take one card and I'll probably take, oh, that's pretty funny. Hmm. This gives, this lets you put a trick on a card even if there were no slots. Available. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's weird. Go guest performer. Yeah, that's pretty Those cool. are all like, they're so cool, those special cards. Yeah, they are really good cards, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna t I'll just take this one okay. for the market. A lot of them I like to take if the text isn't that great just for the extra action okay. point. Put the guy out there. Yeah, my magician's gonna go out here. Okay. And we're done. So now we go to Perform. performance. So which one are you gonna do? Whew, okay. Um, well, to be quite honest, mm -hmm. I'm gonna probably do the Grand Majoran. Okay. Because the only real bonus okay, you get is, is, is links. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So. I'm just gonna get. I'll put them down here. Well, I mean, I don't think we need to zoom in. You got to see how the scoring goes in the first yeah, one. So we're just gonna rip through this scoring because it's yeah, a long playthrough. Okay, so we're just gonna score the trick. So your tr your trick is what? Uh, what's that? My heart trick. Breath two of... fame and three money. All right, so two fame, three money. One, two, three, and I did the card manipulation, which is one fame, one money. And one Trakirian shard. 
right? So we paid out the tricks. Now I get paid for links. Mm -hmm. So there are one, two links. So I get either two fame or two money. I'll take two fame. And now I get paid for my, I don't have an assistant, so I don't really get anything because yeah. I use a regular old assistant. Uh, but I do get paid on the card, which is three bucks. That's good. Which is a really good card. And that's that. So we score these, these go away. And we'll work on the Riverside. So I'll score okay. mine first. I okay. get a victory point, a dollar, and another shard. And you're going to get for this. Uh, uh, two club. fame for the butterflies. Two fame. All right. And then two fame and three money for the Breath of Life. Two yeah. fame and three money for the Breath of Life. All right. And now you're going to get paid on one, two links. So you either get. Two, um, fame or two money? Oh, no, you get one fame. I get you, two you fame get, per. Yeah, yeah, so one one fame per. Because you right. only get the other bonus on yeah. this side, not this side. No, I don't get that. Do we get that shard again? I forget. What shard? No, no, no. Wait, that's scores that's once, and you get a dollar yeah. for the theater. That's okay. it. Cool. All right. Okay. That's that. My goodness. Mm. That was a lot of performance. That was. Okay. Good. Classroom. Okay. That's now. a phase. This is cool. You have what in the classroom? The yep. club, right? So you're yeah. good, and I have the space, you're good. So you're gonna get paid on the club. Yeah, and on the side of the, you can't really see it, but on the side of the card, it'll tell you exactly what you're gonna get for mm -hmm. each trick that you've placed there. So I placed my Enchanted Butterflies, and this is telling me that I get the fame payout. So I get two fame Yep. for that trick. And you, are you going to take... I'm going to take, so I'm going to take my own. Okay. Which is just going to give me the bonus from the card. Okay. And the card is one fame. A what money. do I have out there? The spade, right? Yeah, one yeah. fame, one money, and one shard. Okay. And then because we both have, this classroom is full, we both have like teaching assignments in this classroom. We create like a full popular classroom, I guess. So we each get an extra shard. That's the bonus for this classroom. The popular bonus. Super popular bonus. All right. Okay. That is the end of the classroom phase. So now we pay wages. So I pay one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right. And we now return characters. Okay. Who am I missing? Oh, this guy. All right. Uh, remove, uh, I'm sorry, orders, arrive, performance card. So this Riverside Theater is now out of the game. Yep. These are going to slide down, and we're going to bring out another Grand Majority Theater. Yes. Um, posters are gone, so uh -huh. nobody had any posters out. Turn counter goes up. We are in round four. Uh, prophecies are going to go, so this one's gone. Now, if you, get a, one? if you get a Tricurian shard, you get an extra Tricurian shard. Mm. God, that's crazy. Um, okay, prophecies are gone. Discard special assignment cards, and then discard any unclaimed secrets. Did you do these yet? No. Uh, the unclaimed secrets you did? I did, yep. Okay, that's that, that's that. that. Uh, we can roll the dice, we can set this up again. I'll set this up. I'll roll the dice. Okay. All right, these are gonna go here, and this is gonna go here. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pay a dollar to advertise this round, so we'll get Professor Bernard. Okay. Out there for two fame. And that's it. Now we assign. So take all your cards. Okay. Uh, this is actually gone. And we are ready to ready to cook. Okay. All right. Well, let's reveal. Okay. The big reveal. Oh my goodness. There's what so many cards doing? happening right now. <laughs> okay. I guess we're not performing tricks this round. Sweet. All right, so I kick us off. I'm gonna go ahead and go right downtown. So three plus two is five energy. For two energy, mm. I'm gonna spin one of these ah. to that. 
And then for the three energy, I'm gonna buy that. So I'm gonna take an escapist trick. Okay, which right. one? So it cost me five energy to do that. Uh, I'm gonna take the um, level 16 mm -hmm. zigzag lady. Zigzag lady, all right. All right, so go. that's what I'm getting. It's a level 16 spell or a trick. I'm gonna assign it. I think I'll give it the club so that it stays safe in my car. All right. And you are up. You took the spot I wanted. Sorry. It's the zigzag lady. Zigzag lady. The zigzag lady. Four. Five. Spend a stupid shard. All right, well. I do have a plethora of shards. Yeah, all right. Okay. I will, well, I know you're not going down there anymore, so. I guess I'm just worried about that. Take your sweet time. Yeah, seriously. Um, all right, I guess I'll, yeah. Okay, you're not going there. One. Guess I'll go to the theater. Mm hmm. Um, I'll just go here. So I'm going to prepare one trick. Okay. The Breath of Life. And where would you like to put it? Um, what's this? This one? I'll put it on the Grand Majorian, the one that I can make a link with. That one? Yeah. All right, you get a link. Okay. So, so I'll take... Two or two? Um, I'll take... Uh, I'll take two money, I guess. Okay. I have a lot of points, so... Okay. I will then, I guess I'll just prep a trick, no hurry, and go here, and I'm going to prep the zigzag lady, because I already okay. have the components for it, just wood, oil, and cloth. Okay. So I'm going to get three charges on that. That's crazy. That's good. Your turn. All right, I'm going to take my magician downtown as well, but he only has four, so I'm going to spend a shard. Mm-hmm to give him five so that I also can set this die to a link trick. Okay. Escape trick. Um, and then buy that trick. So I'm gonna take... Buried Alive wow. trick. That's a level 36 trick, by the That's way. That's a pretty big trick. It is. I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve. You apparently do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go and prep more tricks, but I can only prep my Burning Mummy. But since it is in the practice room, I get to put two charges where I would normally get to put one. Okay. That's my action. All right. And I will take this guy to the academy mm -hmm. so he has a value of three mm -hmm. right now Ooh. oh that stinks i should have taken that first before i went there yeah because i could have gotten that thing you could have <sighs> darn it that's okay why can't you get it what why can't I you can get still it? get it but that gives me the money Oh, if I buy a trick, yeah, you would have got so the, I would have gotten, would have gotten some four extra bucks. money. Yeah, yeah. That wow, was kind of silly. that was a silly turn. That's okay. That was a silly turn. Uh, okay, so I'm going to spend two to put my little diamond guy, if I can find him. Where is he? There he is. On this thing. So now I have one component already ready to go on my diamond trick. Correct. 
any type? Um, yes, up to three value. Yes. So. All right. And so wait, I have one uh, more point. You have one point. Yeah, Which so could... I might spend a shard to do something else. Okay. Because I have all this money, I'd really like to like contribute something <laughs> to the development of this mm -hmm. thing, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll make another practice room. I kind of like the practice rooms. So I'll spend another shard. And I will spend five money. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. For two fame. And I will make a... Ooh, I could spend two more dollars and do a level 16 pra yeah. classroom practice room. Why would you do that? I mean, they're kind of the same. You just get more victory points for them, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll spend two more dollars for... Seven points? For, well, it's five points. Five points? So. All right. I think I'll do another one of these guys. One of those. And we're in level, we're in round, what, four right mm -hmm. now? So I'm gonna get three. Three of those. Banners. All right. So I guess I'll go to the dark alley and get three energy and buy th two cards. Or take two cards. Man, I like taking these cards. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, you good? Yeah, I got one more action. Okay, go ahead. Do you have one more? No, no you go before person. I do. I yeah. just went. Um, so I'll go down here to the market. All right. And I'll bring in, I guess I'll bring in one of those locks. All right, where'd you like it? Um, like right there. Okay. So lock is on order. You have two more actions. And two more actions. Well, I can't really buy anything because I'm out of money now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that's a shame. Why do I have so many actions left? Because you put a two guy on there, which is weird. I know. That well, was my only guy that I left. Mm. It's like now I have to spend two dollars just to bring out that lock, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's kind of silly. Okay. Now I'm just going to go here and I get three actions. So I can technically can put out, bring out like something else? three tricks. Um, let's see, I'll bring out the zigzag lady. And she is an escapist trick. So I will go here. Create that link, and I'll give you each of us a stone. Okay. And I'll take a, I'll take a dollar. I get a dollar a victory point, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a level two, so I get two dollars or two victory points. That's a level sixteen, rather. Mm -hmm. Zigzag lady. Uh, I'm gonna put out another zigzag lady up here, and she is the link. Yikes. Oh, I can put her here. That's another link. I'm going to get two victory points or two fame points for that. So that's two of my three action points, and I'll put out a burning mummy. And I could put that either way. So this is also an escapist, but I could put that right here. Create another link. Get myself two more fame. Mm hmm. And that was my three actions. It's good. That was good. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to use my card here. So I used one of my this guy to uh, prepare the trick. Mm -hmm. Now, when returning characters phase, I return him to the supply, and I can immediately hire any specialist. Nice. And I just have to pay that specialist wages this turn. Okay. 
So you're hiring a specialist. Yep. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put it somewhere, maybe on a side table, okay. I think, because we're out of room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll bring her out. Okay. Because she is pretty ridiculously good. And you have I'm, to pay her. Well, when I pay everybody out, I'm going to pay her. Because when we do our salaries. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is real. As you can see, this has just gotten <laughs> real. It's just a mess. The disaster. Okay. okay. So that was just placing. Now we do performance. There is no performance this round. Yeah. Um, we are going to classrooms, so we're going to get paid on our tricks. Okay. What do you so get I for get that? Two fame. fame. Two fame, right? Boom, boom. And what are you going to take? The card I'm bonus? I'm always going to take the card bonus on this. That's manipulation, right? So I get yeah. one fame. One money, money, and give yourself two Chakirian shards, and I'll take one too because of our full classroom bonus. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> and I've got so many shards, it's ridiculous. And I get one fame and one money. Yes, one fame, one money. All right, and that's classroom phase. And now we pay wages, so I'm gonna have to pay one, two. Mm -hmm. Actually, one, two for the assistant I had used, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. So it was a very expensive round, but it will get cheaper after this. Three dollars. All right. So now we return characters, I believe. Yep, return characters. So everybody comes back. All right, so we've got this guy. This guy, you, you, and my new assistant. Very good. Yes. Which, it's funny because it's like, you think it seems like more money for her, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, she comes I can slot him over to here, yeah. and he's free, yeah. where I was paying for two of them. Yep. So it should, it should even Work out, out at least in the end. All right. Um, okay, so now we do uh, orders arrive. So this is actually going to come replace cloth. Mm -hmm. So now we have locks out there. Um, we also have uh, performance cards, posters. This one's gone. Mm -hmm. These are sliding down, and we're bringing out the big venue now. The Magnus Pantheon. Yeah. Adamo Ignis. All right. And now we remove my poster. Okay. I'm still player one. Mm hmm. Turn counter goes, so now we are on round. Which means these actually get revealed. They get revealed, so that was the reminder. Okay. Uh, Dark Prophecies, that is gone. This one What's comes out. out. I'm rolling that this. is if you put your token on the two energy slot, mm -hmm. you have to pay three coins to do it. Wow. Downtown, Market Row, and Dark Alley. So this is not a good one. So it actually cost you money to take those actions. Right, so um, special assignment cards are going, the unclaimed secrets are gonna go. These are done? Yep. Those are out. Okay, I don't That's gonna spread, and that's we're gonna spread. All right, All right, we are ready to go. Okay, so let's do uh, initiative order was set. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pay a dollar for two fame, and we're gonna roll these up. I already rolled those. Oh, did you? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I didn't know you did that already. I said I'm gonna roll these now. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Clearly, I wasn't. So, all right, well they're reshuffled. Money was a lot better before. I'm not going for money. <laughs> Maybe that right. should. Um, all right, now we sign. Okay. That's it. All right, let's reveal. Where are you going? <laughs> da, da. No, I'm going to the <coughs> theater. Quite, all right. quite hard this round. Okay. All right, so I will start, since I'm player one, with locking in the Sunday performance. Okay. 
I'm gonna get a minus one energy, so she's only gonna be worth one energy. So I can only do one action with her. Okay. But she's gonna use her headliner trick. So if I create one or more links as I set up tricks, I receive a bonus for each link twice. Nice. So that's her kind of, but she can only do one, which kind of stinks. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I went here and I did three of them. Yeah. But I would pay for it. Right, right. At the end, because of the penalties. So I get to do one, so I'll set up a trick. And what I'm actually gonna do with her is I'm actually gonna move this trick mm -hmm. up to this theater, like this this action here, costs one energy, and you can move tricks between venues. Who can do that? Whoever's preparing back here. Uh, so you can okay. either place a trick mm -hmm. or move a, move a trick. Yeah, her yep. okay. So I'm gonna move her trick for the action, <clears throat> and she's gonna go, this is a, the club, which is the zigzag lady, which mm -hmm. I can link these two. Okay. So creating a link would normally give me level 16, which is two, so I'm gonna get it doubled, so I can get either two victory points and two dollars or four victory points or four dollars right so what are you gonna do i'm gonna go one two and two you can mix them well it says you can activate it twice <laughs> oh okay for each right. twice yeah so, so it's not like exactly double no it's not doubled okay. it says to do it twice Makes sense. all right okay all right um so i will go here to the theater and perform on thursday all right. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll head over to the academy. So that's going to be a two energy. Mm -hmm. And what are those two skills? <clears throat> um, so this one, if you go to um, the academy, academy <laughs> if you place him on the on any of the two actions, like if he's doing any of the two uh, actions, okay. which is basically all of them, yep. you get a Trakiri instead. And what is the other one? Um, if you use, if you use one of these special placement cards mm -hmm. with him, you get to take the special placement ability plus it's plus one. Oh, I get to use it plus it's plus one. Mm -hmm. Not only for its text, yes. but also it's plus one. That's going to juice him up to two dollars. So I'll do that. Okay. I think I only have three dollars, so I can't even afford to do anything else. So I'll take that one. Okay. So now he is actually a $2 salary, but he gets an extra action point, so he's going to be okay. worth two action points. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. Who did I do that with? I don't know. Oh, I did it with her. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're not going to any of my places, so... Yeah, you're pretty free to go anywhere yeah. you want. All right, I'm going to go to the Academy as well. Mm -hmm. So with my two points, I am going to put my... Where is it? my heart trick yep uh oh there it is right here so that actually that'll give me plus one prepared trick every time i prepare that trick okay so i'll actually get three because she also does that that's so. true Your turn. that's very good okay so i will then go i guess i go downtown might as well <laughs> so he's worth two but i'm going to pay a oh, shard crap. for three I meant to put my this downtown, not market row. Oh, you want to change it? I'll let you change it. Really? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Thanks. So they're both yellow, so I know. it's like. If I don't let you change that, I will get a rash of hate in the comments. <laughs> and not from me. <laughs> it will just be a rash of hate. I, I never knew how kind our viewers were. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna take four dollars okay. because I need some money. Pay a dollar and take a five. And you're paying a Tricarian stone to do that? I already did. Okay. Very well. I am going to do the same thing. So I'm not going to pay a stone. Take some cash. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so hard up on money right now. Yeah. Yeah, here you I go. I know. That's how I was. I'm okay now, though. I was, like, swimming in money, and then I had no money. All right, I'm going to the theater with my manager. And she's only going to get one action. So I'm going to go ahead and place my Burning Mummy out in Adamo Ignis. So that one is Put it at the, top. the Link. I I can't... Oh, it's a Link trick. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't create... Oh, I can, right here. There we go. Because I'm going to create a Link yeah. there. So I that's only a level one, so I'm only going to get one victory point or a dollar. I'll take the victory point or the fame. And you're... 
You have one guy left, okay. Yep, so I'm gonna go to the dark alley. I'm All gonna right. take a card. I'm going to take this one. Okay. What else do we have? Do his sources from the enter interface uh, with the... That allows you to put the this mm -hmm. into your workshop. Oh, that's pretty good. Instead of returning it to the supply. Oh, the, the quick order? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Are you planning on getting a second card? I might. I might pay a stone to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, because then it would be a total of three, right? One action. Correct. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll get another card. All right. You might as well. And I will take this. I really like that one. Okay, and I will go and set up for my Sunday performance. Okay. So, are you done? I am done. Let's perform. All right. All right. So. Yeah, you go first, Thursday. I will perform the Grand Majorian. That one. Oh, it's the only one you can perform. Right. <laughs> because you have to go to one where you have a trick, at least one, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually. I usually always have tricks. Out, that's so the pro I that's why this realize. is very that's why I was like, you but know that's what? Okay. Um so I'm gonna get let's go through all the things. Okay. Would you? So do you wanna do your trick first? We'll score yours first. What trick is uh, this? yeah, sure. That's my heart. So that is two fame and three money. So you're gonna get one fame and two money. Right. Because all of your trick payouts are minus one. So one fame and two money. I'm gonna get plus one fame and money for every trick performed today because i'm on sunday that's how that works mm. i trust you right because even if i just had a guy out here prepping any of my tricks performed today because mm. i'm in the sunday slot get plus one. Oh, okay. that that's how these work or yeah. you have it's, it's the only like thematic piece of this game that makes no sense to me right it's but a little anyway. it's a little weird so just but pay yourself out yes so i will take three fame and four money Three fame and four money. Oh yeah, right. plus one. Right. So three fame, one, two, three, and then I get three fame and three money. Okay. Three. Five. Finally crested the thirty-six. I was getting crushed for a while. Um. <laughs> okay. Right. And then I get three fame, I guess, for links, right? So there are one, two, three links. Here. Right. So you are going to get paid out on links. You get one fame per link, so yep. you're going to get three fame. Okay. One, two, three. You're also going to get paid on the card, $3. Three dollars. Perfect. That's, That's not all bad I really at need. all. <laughs> yep. So that goes that, and that is it for Hard the times for my magician friend. Majorum. All right, so that was your performance. My performance is the Magnus Pantheon. So I'm going to perform the Zigzag Lady. Okay. And... Again, it's going to pay me three fame and four money. One, two, three. And I'm going to also perform the Burning Mummy, which is three fame and three money. Okay. One, two, three. And three. So those are my two tricks. Cool. I get to score links. There's one, two links. So that's two more fame. One, two. And three fame for the venue. One, two, three. Nice. This game just got a lot closer. I needed that huge round. Well, good for you. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. Thank you. Uh, classroom phase. This is where we actually start on some other. All right. Cool. Benefits. So. Um. So. You get the fame for that trick. Yeah, I'm just thinking about my last, my last whole round. Okay. Um. Okay, so I get fame for that trick. That's two fame. Two fame. And One, we each get a stone. Two. You're going to get a stone. I'm going to get a stone. And you get your payout for whatever you want. I'm going to take the trick payout, which is one fame. A money and a stone. One money and a stone. Okay. All right, so that's our classroom. Okay. Uh, now we go to the end of turn. So now we pay wages. So I'm going to have to pay one. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars. That's why I needed money. Like three dollars. I've got some of the most expensive magician staff <laughs> in the game right now. Uh, so we paid out. Return uh -huh. characters. Yours. You. Mine. 
Oh, crud. Uh, what? I forgot to take. I had both a manager and an assistant backstage. Oh, yeah, that's so right. So I get two more victory points and three more dollars. Okay. So we are tied for victory points. Cool. I did that specifically. All right, thank you. Guy. Dude, the okay. dude is back. That's good. So this card is now trash because I used it. Did mm -hmm. you use any special cards that time? Nope. All right. And we are now orders arrive. There are no orders. Uh, performance cards are now cycled. Performance cards. Right. So this is gone. These are going to slide down and another Magnus Ooh. Pantheon comes out. Nice. All right, uh, remove poster, so I'm no longer advertising. Uh, turn counter, we are on round six. Nice. Oh my goodness. Uh, prophecies are going to change. I'm rolling these dice. Okay, I won't re-roll them. All right, and discard special assignments and any unclaimed secrets. You already did the secrets, right? Yep. Cool. I'll do these last two decks. You can do that one. Dice are rolled. We're tied, so I don't think we change initiative. Okay. Uh, the new prophecy out is uh, anytime you receive one or more shards, you receive an additional one. Okay. No, that's, no, 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 I'm sorry. Anytime you receive <laughs> one or more shards, you also receive two fame. Anytime you receive a shard? Yes, one or more, you get two fame. Wow. That is the prophecy. That is a huge prophecy. Wow. wow. I've got too many shards going on here. <laughs> okay. All right, so we are rolling the dice. Done. Initiative set. Uh, advertisement. Mm -hmm. I might as well advertise for a dollar. Okay. To get how many points? Two? Is that what it says? Yep, do it while I can. Um, and now we are on assignment, so let's go ahead. Okay. Sign our moves and we'll be on our way. <sighs> Being a magician is so stressful. It is. You ready? Yes. Reveal. The big reveal. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know oh, what I'm doing first. Okay. Oh wow. Wow, we're going okay. to all the same places. Mostly. Okay. You go first. Ah, I do. I kind of forgot what I wanted to do. Uh, okay. That's kind of a waste of a card. I was hoping you'd go down. Oh, I down. thought you had. I know you had that one down there. Yeah, I was hoping you'd go down there. Um. Ah, wow, looks like. Are you performing? That's awesome. Maybe not. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll start in the theater. It doesn't okay. really matter what day I go to. Um, so I'm going to set up a trick. I'm just going to set up this trick here, and I'll put it in Pantheon. This Trickerion? Yes, this is the Zigzag Lady, and it is that one. So it is a level 16, so I will get two victory points. Two fame or two money. I'll take two fame. Okay. Yep. I am so glad you did that and not this. I'm going to go here. Oh, okay. So, was it plus one? Three. Uh, yeah, I have three to spend. Okay. I'm going to need to spend a shard, I think. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do mm -hmm. I'm going to buy mm -hmm. three of these. Oops. Okay. So, that's your one action. So, can you give me change for this five? Okay. So, there's three, and here's two dollars back. Thank you. So, that's All your right. first action. Right, so for my second action, for my second action, I'm going to buy two of those locks. That's six dollars. That's six dollars, but I'm going to use one action point to barter down the price. To five dollars. To five dollars. Okay. And then I'm going to spend this Trickerian stone to barter it down one more time. You can't. You can only do it once. One I time. One time, no, one time. I don't, no, I have three points. Three action points. Oh, okay. I'm just bartering it down um, twice. So I have a total of okay. four action points with that stone. Okay. Do you see what I mean? So you want to barter it down I'm to four dollars? I'm bartering it down twice. To four? Yes, to four dollars. Because that's all the money I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all my money on these rusty locks. 
And a Chakirian shard. And a shard. That's okay. I have a okay. Was that all your actions? That was it. Yeah. Wow, that was a big move. That was big. The market is can be very confusing. Yes. Sometimes. Okay, so then I'm, negotiation. I'm gonna go ahead and send my manager up to downtown. Uptown? Up downtown. <laughs> uh, so I've got three <clears throat> three action points to spend. Okay. And she Oh, I'm sorry. I need to back up for a second. Yes. Sorry. Um, Ma, I use a special card. Mm -hmm. So I receive fame equal to the amount of money I paid for this buy action mm -hmm. minus one. Okay. So my more expensive buy action was, was the four dollars. So you get three. So points. I'll get three points. One, two, three. Okay. okay. Um, now mine is kind of interesting here okay. because it says intrusion. You may choose to place your worker on an occupied downtown slot. Okay. If you do, put your worker on top of the worker already there and take the action as though the slot was free. Okay. Why couldn't I do that? I think that's fine. I'll allow it. And get four. Yeah. For sure, because it's representing that spot being occupied, so I don't see why you can't. Okay. It really doesn't help me oh, okay. do anything, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, I could do that. Sure. Right? Yeah. Why not? I guess play the rule. So uh, that's going to give me four energy, which again doesn't make a world of difference. Mm -hmm. uh, because you cost three to do anything. Here. Right. But I'm going to buy a trick. Okay. So I would like to take the mechanical. This one? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to actually take, because I am well above the 36, I'm going to take the trick called Hellhound. Ooh. This nice. is crazy scary. How okay. are you going to get all those things? <laughs> You'll see. That's coming. Okay. So I have to get rid of a trick because I don't have no more room for right, it. So right. to return a trick to Dalgard's house or manor or mansion or whatever you want to call it, you can do that at any time. You can get rid of your trick, right? But okay. you lose all the little tokens with it. Yep. So now this was the well. diamond. So the diamond now is gone. Yeah. So that's the only way to get those out of those the, the classrooms, for example. So that goes back okay. to that. So links. So now I am capable of the Hellhound trick, and this will be... I mean, you can make it a diamond trick if you want. I don't want to make it a diamond trick. I want to make it the heart trick, because this trick comes from oh. the heart. Uh, I've got one action point left. It is not going to do me any good, but okay. I will X that off, and we are good okay. to go. I'm going to take this person to the academy, mm -hmm. and for two action points... I'm gonna take this guy. All right, which one's that? This one. Um, if I take my um, protege to the workshop, I get fame and money. That's good, that is good. All right, so I think what I will do now is go to Market Row, because I need to make some purchases. Okay. So this guy's worth two action points. Like right. Two. So for his first action now, he can also buy anything he wants for an extra dollar at Market Row. So he's going to buy one lock okay. for $3. Mm -hmm. And I will pay three. Get wow, you like so many Tricurian stones. I know. <laughs> and get a lock back. Oh, because you get them for your one yes, thing. Yes, I yeah. get them for like everything. Yeah. And then what else do I need for this? I need two doves. So I'm going to go ahead and buy, because he can, he just has to pay more. Mm -hmm. Two doves, one each. So that would cost me six dollars. Because wait, it, what? How can he buy extra stuff? He could buy. Well, he's gonna buy two doves. He's got two yeah. actions. So his next action is buying two doves. Okay. Well, where are they? He can buy anything he wants. Oh, okay. That's where I was yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. How can you do My that? My protege has Just the so has the loop. secret yes. that in the market yes. row he can buy any he's got, component like, he wants. Connection. Yes. So, he, but he has at the cost of one extra dollar per item. Right, right. So he's going to buy two doves. Black market costs. Correct. Two doves at three dollars each. So that's wow. that's the inflation. So that's six dollars. Okay. Nice. Um, so I'm different. just about there for this trick. Okay. Um, so that was two actions, right? Mm -hmm. I do get one more action. And why? Because I'm going to pay a trick okay. shard and I'm going to actually just get a discount off of that last one. Take a dollar back. Okay. Right? Because I'm going to use that action to okay. discount my last transaction. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Okay. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Cheating cards. Cheating cards. Cheating cards. All right, so I'm going to take him to the workshop, which now that I do that, I get one fame and one money. Yes. Thank you. One fame 
one money. One money. And now he is worth two action points because mm -hmm. he's got an upgraded skill set. So with those two action points, I'm going to prepare two tricks. Mm -hmm. My diamond trick and my heart trick. Okay. So my diamond trick has two charges, so I get to prepare two of those. Yep. And my heart trick, I actually get three. So even though only one is on the card, she makes an extra one and I have an extra one generated In here. the practice room. Yes. All right. I'm practicing my breath of life trick. It's very famous. You're fresh of breath air. Yes. Okay. All right. So my assistant is also going to the workshop. Mm -hmm. So she's worth two actions. Okay. I'm going to pay a shard to do three actions with her, right? Because you can boost that. Right. So for her three actions, her first action is going to be to move this lock over to my manager. Okay. So now I have two locks, which makes this trick now doable. Mm -hmm. Two birds or two animals, mm -hmm. um, one oil, three cloth, two locks. Nice. Right? So nice. that's that's how I was going to get that's all those good. materials. That's good. That's uh, good. So that's one action. My second action is going to be to move my assistant mm -hmm. over to my apprentice. So now okay. my assistant will not cost me any money right. when I bring her back. So were you going to make that? My third action yeah. is I'm going to make the hellhound. Third action. So that costs two actions to make. Oh, that. crap. You can pay a stone. I already paid a stone. Oh, you can't pay a stone. Sorry. I can't pay another stone for that. That's a two action? Yeah. All right. Well, then I'm leaving her here for now. <laughs> I was going to say. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I need to do the hellhound. Okay. So that trick needs to be made. So that is a heart. Mm -hmm. So that's my second action. Okay. Or second and third action. Right. So you're done? Boom. I'm done. All right. So I'm going to take my magician mm -hmm. to the theater, but he's actually going to prep. Oh, okay. So he's worth three points up there in the theater, prepping backstage. He's a hardworking magician. He preps all his own tricks. He does, apparently. So I'm going to place one, two, probably both of these. Well, definitely one of these and probably one of these. So let's start by putting these up. Could you put these on? Mm -hmm. Let me look. Hold oh, on. Okay. Um, so this one, my diamond trick is a link. Okay. So I've got to put that in like the link spot. <sighs> Uh, so I'm going to put that up there. Put that facing the shard, please. Okay, there you go. That's a link. And this one is... What level is that trick? What? The diamond trick. The diamond trick is a level 36. Oh, so that's going to be worth... A lot of points. Four points or four dollars to you. Yes, it will. Um, and then this one is my like breath. It's a spiritual trick. Yep. And... You... Actually, wait a minute. Can you... Can you just rotate, put that in the other spot? Here? No, like with the link facing the middle. Twist it. Like twist this? It. No, keep twisting, keep twisting. Now move it back to the other side, right there. Now if you put that one in there, it should link up. Twist it, twist it. Ah, there you so go. Yeah. Alright, okay. so you got two links here. Yeah, so I've, two, I've made two links. Right. Two Drakirian stones. And how would you like to be paid on that one? I'll take my two Drakirian stones first, please. There's two stones here? Oh, my one, one stone. stone. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, with a stone, though, you get two fame automatic right. because of the prophecy. Right, right, right. Um, how do you want to be paid out on the links? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about that. So probably money for the first one. So that'll be $4 for the that'll big one. $4 for the big one. And the small one is, is what level? Um, 16? The small one the is, le is a level. No, the diamond is the big one. Oh, so that's okay. the link the we just did. The heart is a level the one. The heart is a level one. So that's so worth two. That'll be two. Two victory me. points or two dollars. What would you like? Uh, I'll take the points. Two fame it is. Actually, I'll take two dollars. It is. <laughs> Money is so hard to get sometimes. Two dollars it is. All right. I'm done. You're up. Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. All right. So my magician a big deal for me. is going to the academy. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. I'm not oh, done. Oh, dear. I took three action points. I oh, only okay. did two. So okay. I'm going to do one more of these. All right. So you're going to have to go either here or yeah. here. Yeah. And I will... And this is my diamond mm -hmm. again. So this is a... Can I... I can't really link it. Link with you, can I? What kind of trick is that? It's a chain. Oh, an escape. An escapist. Actually, I don't think you can link anywhere. 
Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, um, where would you like to put it? Oh well, I'll just uh, just throw it up there on that other Magnus one with the, with the Tracurian stone in the middle. Yeah, right like that. here. That's perfect. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's it. All right, so I went to the academy with my big guy. Um, actually, can you okay. rotate? It's hard because I can't reach it. You know what I mean? I can't really rotate see it. it. Rotate one? it. Rotate it. Now move it down. You there. Go. That made a link. Okay. There you, you go. You see what I mean? Yep. And um, it's that level 36. I'll take the four fame this time. All right. One, two, three. Four. Okay. Now I'm done. Are you sure? I mean, yeah, you yeah. could pay a stone and do more stuff if you'd like. Not in the theater. I can't. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because like I can't like reach that stuff. So no, that's it's hard cool. For me to it's all good. Tell you what I need to done. Uh, so now I, I'm gonna go to the academy. I okay. think. And I will take. For my first two actions, I'll take this skill, which when going to this area, the show, I get an extra energy to spend. So nice. you can set up a lot of tricks. Good. And I have two more points, so I can do something here. Mm -hmm. um, what do I have? I don't have a ton of money. Eek. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Wow. Okay, so I have four extra dollars. It's not worth it. What round are we in? Six. Yes. Yeah, it's really not. We have worth one round it. after this. It is really not worth it. I don't think. All right. So. Yikes. Um. Well, you know what? I might as well just put like the zigzag lady. Yeah, you might as well. In up on that duplicator. In the, no, in there. Oh, okay. Because I get three charges with her anyway. Okay. What this will do is let me set my trick up in any rotation. Yeah. So I'll always get a link with the zigzag lady. Cool. Which is worth it. So that was my four action points, and I'm done. Cool. And All I right. think you're done, right? Yep. No performances. No performances round. So we now have to do classroom. So we get paid on our tricks right. again. So I get two fame. Two fame. And you get your usual. One fame, one... Money. Money. And a shard. And a shard. Means you get two more fame. Which I get two more fame. And then you're actually going to get another shard. One, two, three. Why? Because we have our full classroom. Oh, yeah. We each get two more. Yep. Fame. One, two. One, two. Okay. Perfect. So that is it for the classroom. Yep. And now we are paying wages. So I knew I had to pay $5. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Three bucks. All right. So return characters. Mm hmm. Thank you. And you go there. This goes away. You get rid of that. I get rid of this. In a second, he comes back. Okay. Oh, my magician. <laughs> ah! All right, so we're good with that. Uh, orders arrived. There were no orders. Uh, performance cards. So this is now gone, and all we have left are these two, two venues. Magnus. Wow, and they're almost Pantheon. full. Oh man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> remove posters. Move the turn counter. We are on round seven. This is it. Move prophecies. You are coming off. This is the last prophecy out there. I wonder if it's bad. It looks yeah. bad. They're, all, they're either like really bad or really good. Uh, what is, whoa. This is Thursday and Sundays have no yield modifiers. Oh, perfect. So for the final round, there are no yield modifiers, no matter where these yeah, land. Yeah, because they're the... The big show. The big show. All right. Okay. Uh, like so okay. Dalgar's assignment cards, the secrets are coming out. Those are all good? Yep. All right, so then let's roll the dice. All right, uh, okay. let's reset these, these for the final round. Final countdown. Okay. All right. What do we have? Ooh. Ooh. So these are... Spread like that. Oh, this is like the worst. 
Well, these are no well, yields. Yeah. No yields in, in the, the big show. Those, and this will be like that as well. Okay. okay. So, yeah, these are tough. Um, I think that's it. So, I'm going to advertise for my final round. For your big show? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do that. $1 equals two fame. Okay. Kind of tighten the gap up a little bit there. And um, initiative set assignment is all we have left. So all right. Final round. Let's see how we do this. Let's reveal. Okay. <laughs> really? A lot of theater and prep, it looks like. Some downtown action. All right. Okay. Interesting. So, I guess I'll start prepping spells. I will prep both of these hellhounds. And they are both mechanical, so I will get one link there. And one link. Oh, two links on that one. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, there's no circle here, so that no. doesn't count. So just one link. So two links. They are level 36 tricks, mm -hmm. so I get three fame or three money. So I'll take one, two, three fame for one and three money for the other. Nice. That's all I can do. I have no more tricks up my sleeve. Up your sleeve. Okay. I'm gonna go downtown. And I will take. Hmm. You're gonna take a trick. Yeah, I wow. think so. Um Mm. Uh, this is a really tough decision. <laughs> eek, eek is right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take this. What do we have here? Yeah. Not. Uh, barricaded barrels. See, the tough thing about this is you have to have the resources because we don't have all kinds of time. You know what I mean? That is right. All these places and buying stuff. All right. I guess we'll just go barricaded barrels. All right. We're going to shoot a guy out of a cannon. That works. Right? Yeah, people As enjoy like, that. I mean, it's a low, it's a low, it's not a very classy trick. No. But but it's a trick nonetheless. <laughs> it'll, 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 it'll be the one that they watch while they're like waiting in line. <laughs> All right. Uh, you go. will need to pay a Trickerian shard, though, to take that action. Why? Because it costs three actions to do anything downtown. Oh, yeah. You're right. There you go. There you go. Oh, also, I wanted to revert back because somebody will catch this. My, uh, I didn't take salary for my protege, which is $2. Yeah. So uh, we'll pay that. And cheating. I, well, I, you know what, though? I made right. <laughs> I know, I'm with five bucks. <laughs> okay. So I will now, I will go to the workshop okay. with my assistant and I will pay a shard to get two actions here. The first action is going to be create the, the uh, zigzag lady Okay. because I need some more of those because we have a show to put on if I can find them. And that's not it. Why don't I have any more zigzag ladies in here? Oh, there she is. Okay. It I couldn't find the last one. All right. So three charges on the zigzag lady. That's my first action. My second action is going to be... What else did I want to do in my workshop? Know. Maybe just move her over here so she doesn't cost me any money at the end of the round. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. That's you it. good? Yeah. Alright, I will also go to my workshop with a value of two. Okay. And I will make some tricks. So I'll make one charge on this guy, which gets me two mm -hmm. tricks. And one on this guy, I guess, which gets me two, right? Of my diamonds. Yep. Okay. Your turn. So you 
created tricks. I did. Okay. I am now going to go... All right, so I have a weird card here. It's called Freelancer. Mm -hmm. So I may choose a place, choose to place this worker on any of the location instead of the workshop. Oh, okay. So she's kind of like a wild card, which nice. is really good. Yeah. So I'm going to put her out here, uh, and she's going to place one no, of her you're zigzag taking ladies. All this stuff. Uh, zigzag lady happens to be. I can place this any direction, so I will place her like that to create a link. That was cold. That's all I can put out though. And that Good. link is going to earn me two victory points or two dollars. Okay. I'm going to have to take the points. It's getting tight. All right. You know what? No. I'm going to take the two dollars. Okay. Leave is that us your time. Final that is my final answer. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go prep here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't prep there. You knew that, didn't you? I did not. Why can't you prep there? Because it's minus one. You only need one. You could at least prep a spell. I want to prep trick. two. It sucks. That blow is really bad. Mm. See, I, don't, I wonder if the event, I don't know. Because it's not, it says no modifiers, right? It does, but it could mean just none of these. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't That's know. That's fine. I don't need those to win. You probably don't. <laughs> that just stinks, because that was like my whole plan. That's the only reason why I did that and that and that. You know what I mean? Go on, I'll let you put these. No, on. it's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to not play by the rules. I never used my bonus actions anyway, so we can treat those as zeros. That's all right. I'm, I'm okay with that. This way, I'll just put out my breath of life spell. Because I wanted to put my barricaded barrels out. Go on and put it out. No, it's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's all right. All right, I'll put this here like that anyway. So at least I'll get a stone. You will get right. a stone. Um, and you created two links. I did. It's a cheapo spell. What level was that? One. Really? Yep. Which spell? No, it was the, oh, the Breath of Life. Okay, so you're going to get two and two. What do you want? Two or two. Well, you get it twice because you have two links. Hmm? Oh. You yeah. created two links with that. Oh, okay. Um, so that's actually a pretty big payout. I'll take the points. All points. right. So you're going to get four points for that move. One, two, three, four. You're up to 68 points. I can't believe I missed that. I'm so mad at myself right now. Oh, I missed the energy count? Yeah. It sucks. It's just, it's weird when it does it like that. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to go to the academy. I'll go here. He's worth two. Now he's worth. Did three. I get my? I need a victory point and a money because I sent him to the workshop. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. Um, going to the academy. He's worth three action points right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay a shard to make him worth four. Because I'm in two actions here. Okay. First action is I'm going to build, uh, renovate a classroom. Oh, okay. So I'm going Which to level? do a level sixteen for five dollars. Okay. Do you care which one it is? Uh, yeah, let me peek at them real quick. Um, okay. Well, technically, I don't. It I guess really it really matter. doesn't matter. I mean, unless you're going to use some of your points to do something with that, which you could. Some of my points to. Like your action points. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do another action point. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, how many points was that worth for renovating that room? That's two. No, underneath. Oh. Three. Three. Yeah. So three victory points. One, two, three. And you just put one banner out. I get to put one banner out because it's the final round. Uh, but for my second action, I'm going to put my Hellhound spell mm -hmm. trick on there. Okay, which one? It doesn't matter because I'm going to take oh, the... Okay. I can, when I, at the end of the game, I mean, whenever we do the classroom phase, you for one of yeah. the classrooms, I can take the bonus of the actual trick. and the other classroom, I have to take whatever it gives me. Which is gonna oh, give okay. me it's gonna give me nothing. Yeah. So I'm okay. I'll have to forfeit okay. that. Sounds good. Um So are you done? Yeah, um that was my two actions. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Okay. Put my sad magician out. 
And I will also put my sad magician out. Your magician's not sad. Why is he not sad? Because he gets the first dibs and like... Well, we'll see. All the good stuff. He just gets to perform one of these cards. Yes, that's true. And it is performance phase. It is. So what are you going to do? I'll probably perform the bottom card. They're both worth the same payout, to be quite honest. Wow. At the end of the game, every trick carrying shard is worth a point. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they're worth three right. points each, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but oh, it depends on who has the most. Oh, that has a lot of links. Oh, they all do. They all do. That one has one, two, three, four versus one, two, three, four, five. I'll take the five linker. Yeah, because it's bigger. Okay. All right, so let's score your tricks. Mine? The heart? All right, the heart is going to give me two fame and three money. Three money mm -hmm. and two fame. Yep. All right, and the diamond is four fame and four money. Wow, come on. So you have a dollar. Yep. Four fame. Yeah. Why it's buried just... alive. It's very dangerous. One, two, three, four. Apparently. Uh, all right, so I will do the heart, which is the hellhound, which pays six fame, five money, and a shard. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I will do the. Club, which is a zigzag lady, which is two fame and three money. Okay. One, two, and three money. All right, so that is it for the tricks. Now I get to score links. So there are one, one, five. two, three, four, five links. So that will be five victory points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I have an assistant end. An apprentice and a manager in, so I get two more points plus three dollars, and another three victory points for the venue. One, two, three. All right, okay. and that's it. Cool. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you. The tricks are everywhere. <laughs> uh, so that Mac Magnus Pantheon is done. So let's go to the other one. All right. All so right. again, I'm going to get two fame, three money for my breath of life. Three money and two fame. Yep. All right. And then um, four fame and four money. I'll give you a dollar. One, two, three, four fame and four money. There's your five. Can you get yours? Uh, I'm going to get six fame, five money, and a shard. All right. And I'm going to get two fame and three dollars. Okay. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to score links. So there's one, two, three, four, four. five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you get five links. That's never exactly even. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I use two okay. and a shard. Yeah. Bang. That's it. Uh, wait a minute. What did you just do? You hopped over oh, my assistant. Oh, and you used system. him, which yeah, is another shard. shard. So you get an extra shard. Yep. Sorry, I didn't see That's your right. mechaniker. Oh, he was out there. Your he's, engineer. You don't see him because he's like slacking, I guess, because it's Sunday. He was on Slack, <laughs> chatting it up. <laughs> That's why he's only worth one action point. Yep. All right. So that is it for the performance phase. Now we go to the classroom. Uh, I don't think we do classroom in the last round. Okay. So there is no classroom phase yeah, sorry. at the end of the seventh round, which is okay. Uh, totally forgot about that, but... <laughs> Uh, we'll see. So, <laughs> which is, I mean, I, I renovated a classroom, so I did get some points for that. Yeah, no, you totally But I don't get it. to score my hellhound at the uh, end, so. There's a lot of rules. Womp, so. womp. All right. So let's go ahead and just do final scoring, right? Okay. It's because we're done. Yep. Uh, we now score shards, Trickerian okay. shards. So you get a maximum of 20 points. Yeah, and that's a change for One the base per. game. Yeah. But oh, they actually, uh, they mentioned that that's kind of a change, even if you're playing Trakirion, mm -hmm. to cap it at 20. It's yep. a balance thing. Six, seven, eight, eight. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven. I have nine. I'll just keep going. Yeah. So seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Next is money. So you get one point for every three dollars. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. All right. For every three dollars. Yep. So this is twelve. So that's four threes, right? How much do you have in, to in total? I'm sorry. How much do you have in total, money-wise? Um. Oh, I don't know. I didn't count. 
I just split it up into three. So I just count them all up. Um, six, nine, nineteen. So six nine, points. nineteen. You get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I have twenty-one exactly. Seven points. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So that's it for money. And now we get uh, points for assistance. Okay. All right. So what do you have? What do you uh, You pull all your tokens back. It's probably easier to count them up. Oh, well, I so, just have this guy. Uh, you have which guy? Engineer. Engineer. But you also have an assistant. Oh, yeah. The glove, right? So for every glove, you get two points. So how many gloves do you have? One. One glove. You get two points. One, two. Do you have, uh, and you have an engineer, which yep. is worth three points. One, two, three. And do you have any other assistance besides yep. your protege? That is it. All right. So I have the glove, which is two. I have the engineer, uh, I'm sorry, I have the assistant, or the apprentice, and the manager, which are worth three points each. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now we go to the action cards. Do you have any action cards left that are special? That one's yours. Yes. So I can't do that. How many do you have? One. One that is worth two points. All right. One, two. Okay. Now we get up your level 36 spells. Do you have any level 36 yep. spells? All right. So what is the bonus for that? Um, if I have an engineer, I get seven points. So you get seven points for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, Won't seven. That would be enough. <laughs> that was big. Uh, mine, I get two enough. points for every action card, special action card, which I don't have any, so I didn't get the bonus on that. Mm. Probably should have used my yes. last action to go to that and get one, get some car, yeah. or at least two. Would have got like four points for that. Right. Silly of me. Uh, and then eight points for majority in a two-player oh, yeah, game. Right. So you have the majority. Wow. So that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you took me with that last bit. That was close. Very close game. I thought you were going to smoke me. Uh, yeah. I was, was going to say, close. you beat me at my own game. Yeah, but you, but you uh, didn't. no, and that was actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. It would, yeah. That's good. Right, let's go All talk. Right. There you have it, Dalgard's Academy. What an expansion. I just have no words. There are no words. <laughs> There are no words. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is this is like one of my favorite games. So like everybody who knows. Yeah, I think anybody who watches that. this channel um, pretty much knows that. Yeah, close neck and neck with like Anachrony. So. Yeah. Um, but when we heard about the expansion, I was like, "Ooh, that's interesting," mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure if the game honestly needed anything else. Right. Because there's already so much going on. And we, you didn't even see in this playthrough, you didn't see us using like the Magician's Powers expansion. Right. Oh my God. Which yeah. is like, adds a whole nother layer to this. And I guess you, theoretically, you could still use that with this, but I think it would just be, there's just way too much going too much, on. Way too much bookkeeping at that point. Yeah, like you would, it probably wouldn't be um, as fun. So I like the fact that now with this one, it's almost like kind of modular. Like mm -hmm. you can sort of make whatever you play, whatever kind of game you want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so that was really cool. But let's um, let's take this like we do with all of our kickstarters, and we'll start with theme. Yeah. Which is heavily ingrained. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a <laughs> an interesting take, right? Because we, I mean, you know, we love this theme. Right. Like the magician, the old school, the yeah. art, the components of this game are. It's definitely one of our favorites. There's mm -hmm. no question about that. Um, the depth of strategy here, it's just, right. it's rich. And it, it, it really does feel like you're traveling around in town. You're you're setting up the stage. You're preparing your yeah. tricks. Um, everything is just so good. So with this expansion, you kind of hope that it retains that feel. Right. right? Um, and for me personally, I think, it, I think it really did. Like, it feels like it's part of this game. It's really, it, I was going to almost say it feels like it's part of the world. Yes. Like you're in this town where, you know, you have this magician stuff going on mm -hmm. and, and it just makes sense that there would be like an academy kind of, you know, lost to time or right. something. And you're renovating it and it's organized in the way that you, at first, if you just look at the rules, like it might seem complicated, but it makes thematic sense that you have your practice rooms mm -hmm. where you're getting these kind of passive bonuses to make your tricks easier to perform. And then your classroom where you're teaching the spells, which is both thematically cool from a story standpoint, sure. but also 
makes sense with regards to putting on your performances and you can't perform those spells anymore. And, you know, we, I, I only put one out there in the classroom. Mm -hmm. It was like my crappy spell. Right. I think that, you know, if we were to play this over and over and over again, that I'd probably try to put, I'd try, probably try to create like a workflow yeah. where I perform a spell a couple times and then end up putting it in the classroom or, yep. you know, something like that. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't do that this time. <laughs> yeah. But, but I think that would be a really neat thing to, you know, to really play with. Oh, it makes sure. you want to play it over and over. Yeah. Even though, Not, even though you want to play that game over and over again anyway, yeah, so it doesn't really exactly. matter. Uh, I do like the, the addition of the protege. I think because you mm -hmm. have an extra sort of location to do actions on, uh, right at the start of the game, you have an extra worker to do that. And so it, you don't and feel pressure. Yeah, and he's free. Yeah. It doesn't really pressure you into having to grab more assistance mm -hmm. early that you can't afford right. to go and do some stuff at the academy where you've got this guy who's sort of made for the academy. So you just send him right out there. I'm assuming they're going to put a female side yeah, uh, on the, that's on the, on all the other the, end of this. Yeah, all the people have like male, female. Sides. Right, they're all male, female. Yeah. Um, and, and also keep in mind that this is prototype, but it, <laughs> it, it, you can't tell that it's prototype. And yeah. the cardboard's a little bit thinner, but at the end of the day, it, it, it's going to look, I'm assuming this is final art because it looks like final art. Right. Uh, and it all just fits. So, yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, very good. Um, all right, so mechanics and weight. It goes without saying this is a heavy game. Oh, yeah. Still yeah, heavy yeah. with the expansion. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's going to add a... It's, it makes it a heavy game even heavier. Yeah, that's a lot of depth. There's a lot more strategy you need to think about. There's a lot more way, a lot more ways to score, mm -hmm. which you need to think about. So um, it definitely you know raises the bar a bit on the weight, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. Because you're not only worrying about... in, in you know, the standard base game, Trakira, and you're talking about taking your spells out or your, you know, your magician tricks mm -hmm. out to the theater. Yeah. It's pretty much all you're doing. It's just like, take them to the theater, take them to the theater. Yep. And this gives you another outlet to uh, kind of enhance the magician world. So I agree. It's kind of cool. Um, all right. Target audience. It's kind of goes, I mean, it yeah, yeah. I mean it's all pretty much the same, right? It's, it's heavy. Like magic yeah, and you, heavy games. You have to like heavy games because <laughs> this is this is one of the heavier games for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely by sure. So um, I, I think with all the additions on this game, you've got four new magicians. Right, yeah. Really awesome. We played with two. Uh, we played with two of the four. They Some of them, you know, they're, obviously their strengths are going to go towards the academy and some mm -hmm. of the new mechanics, which is cool. So if you want to do that, there are new prophecies that are specifically for the expansion that do right. affect the academy. Mm -hmm. One actually came out. It just never went into play uh, in this which last one. Which one was that? Uh, this one is uh, when you put, oh, when you renovate, the... you get uh, more points for, for oh. whatever level. Two, nice. four, or six additional points, depending. Yeah. Um, so they're in there. There's a handful of them as well. Um, it, it increases the the uh, the trick load to five when you could right. only, you could cap out at, at four before. Because you have more opportunities to actually bring tricks out. Yeah. So it, there's definitely a lot more meat to this. Yeah. At least not an overwhelming amount, but just enough to kind of make it an even more rich experience all around, in my opinion. Yeah, I would say the one thing that I was really impressed with with this expansion is that sometimes when expansions are put out for games, it's kind of like you could sort of do without it, mm -hmm. or it seems, I don't want to say it's, it seems slapped on because that's kind of mean, I guess, to right. say, but, you know, but it's like, okay, this is an adjacent thing happening, mm -hmm. but they really did a good job incorporating and encouraging you as a, as a player to go to that location and almost penalizing you if you don't. Because if other people are taking advantage of that location, right. you know, you're gonna miss out and you're gonna miss out on a lot. Yeah, of it's just a really cool mechanic to be able to score your tricks without actually having to perform them. Yes. Right? Yeah. And it just makes a nice passive way to just keep generating income mm -hmm. uh, while you're working on getting your performances ready. Yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah, it's really neat. All right, I think that about does it. Again, right. Kickstarter preview. Yeah, so only, um, not technically a review. Exactly. But. So we <laughs> hope you enjoyed the playthrough. It's rather lengthy, but I mean, what else are you going to get from a full playthrough? But you know, a really good appreciation for what the game yeah. and the expansion truly has to offer on on a full playthrough experience, at yeah. least with two players. Right? Yes. So there you have it. The Kickstarter links below. If you haven't backed this yet and you own Tracurion, I think. I personally would highly recommend <laughs> yeah. backing this uh, because it really it makes a great game even better. Absolutely, well said. All right, cool. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. We'll see you next time. See ya.